Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I just got these Justins on Craigslist. So I'm gonna go pick them up and on the way, I'm gonna give you three tips to buying boots on Craigslist. Let's get into it. It is Saturday morning and I'm off to Topsfield, Massachusetts to pick up these Justin boots that I found on Craigslist. And while I'm driving, I wanted to share a little bit of my process in thinking about buying these boots. Now, I originally saw these boots online a couple of weeks ago. I thought they looked nice, but I didn't really have a reason to get them. And then I would come across them every so often. Every time I saw these boots, I was like, mm, I'm not sure they're worth it. Is it worth the drive? Last week, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's actually go through the process and see if I can get these boots. So they were originally posted for $50. And the first thing that you wanna look at, this is the first tip, you gotta make sure the boot is in good shape where it is most worn, because if it's not, it's just gonna cost you extra money. You wanna see how the boot is actually wearing on the bottom, because if you get a boot, and it looks good, but the sole has a hole in it or there's a lot of wear, then that's gonna cost you some extra money to get those boots resold. My second tip to buying boots on Craigslist is to make an offer lower than what your goal price actually is. So I looked at these boots and I didn't wanna pay 50 bucks for these boots. Just, it just wasn't worth it to me because I gotta drive an hour north just to pick them up. My goal price for this boot was $25. Didn't want to offer $25 because if I offered $25, their reply back would most likely be higher. Always bid lower than what you are willing to pay. So I emailed them and said, I will offer you $20 for your boot. And they came back and said, 25 and you got a deal. And that's exactly what I wanted. So I got my goal price but it ended up being their idea. Now that's just the basic technique of haggling, uh, but it's something that you wanna keep in mind when trying to make offers on Craigslist for cowboy boots or anything for that matter. The third tip that I have for you is to actually make sure the boot looks good and fits if you're buying it for yourself when you're there before you exchange the money. Just because you said that you are going to be buying the boots for $25 doesn't mean that you actually have to go through with it when you're there because I haven't seen these boots yet. I wanna make sure that they're good, right? I wanna make sure they're everything that I need in a cowboy boot. So I'm gonna look them over thoroughly especially because only one of the outsoles was shown in the picture. I wanna make sure the heel is good. I wanna make sure there's no cracks. I wanna make sure the insole is in good shape. You always gotta be willing to walk away. So even though this is uh, an hour away, I got a good feeling about this boot based off of the pictures that were posted. Um, but still, I am willing to walk away if the boot is not good enough. Those are my three tips. Now let's get there and actually check out these boots. I ended up getting the boots, as you can see, and the reason why is mainly these outsoles. I mean, look at that. They're practically new. They've been worn a couple of times based off the post, but you can never be too sure about what people actually say. So. This is a really nice boot. This is a beautiful Justin boot. All right, so we have uh, nails in the sole as well, which is always a good thing to see from a Justin boot. Stacked leather heel. This outsole here, look at how thick it is. This is a beautiful boot, okay? You got a around like a, a seven square toe, I believe. You could call this with a double stitched welt. The boot is kind of short. It kind of looks like an uh, 11 inch height shaft, but it does have the traditional cowboy heel, which is a, a good look. The one thing that this boot doesn't really have going for it is that there is a little bit 
of a gouge here on the toe, but it's not that big of a deal. These are dusty boots, so they've been sitting for a while, but that doesn't mean that they can't be cleaned up and look really nice. Now, I also put these boots on. They fit, it's a snug fit for a Justin 11D, which makes me think that these are a little bit older than some of the stuff that we've been seeing recently. And also the build quality is not the same as some of the newer Justins that we've been looking at. I mean, just the thickness of this outsole is so much different than the bent rail. So I don't think this is a bent rail boot. I think this is more of a vintage-esque Justin boot. Something that uh, we haven't really come across recently. I got a great deal on this boot, okay? This boot is probably worth at least 50, like what they posted it for. Uh, or more so I'll probably wear these a little bit I have I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and flip these on eBay after I clean them up uh, for the 50 or $60 and uh, make a little bit of money off of them or actually wear them so I'm still trying to consider that these are a nice boot here I'll put them on and I'll show you what they look like pretty good looking boot Right? Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I made out really well on this Craigslist pickup. I mean, like, really well. This, this boot is definitely worth more than $25. So, I will, I'm really considering flipping this on eBay. We'll see how it goes, though, because I'm wearing it right now, and it does feel really, really nice. So. My three tips again, wrapping up here. Make sure the outsoles look good in the pictures of a Craigslist post. And if they don't have any pictures of the outsoles, ask for them. Number two, always offer a price that is lower than your goal price. All right, my goal price was 25, so I offered 20 and they came back with 25. All right, that was the second tip. Third tip is always give the boot a look over, make sure it's all good before you exchange the money. You can always walk away from a deal. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know what you think of this Justin boot and Craigslist pickup down in the comments. Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Check Craigslist for the real good deals To make your cowboy boot dreams real Make sure you like how they feel You don't have to break the bank Thanks to Craigslist <laughs> Thanks for watching today everybody My name is Jeremiah Craig Don't forget to subscribe down below I'll see you next time Peace.